<laughs> well, hello and good morning. This is the early morning edition of uh, <laughs> Presence <laughs> with Watercolor. Uh, for those of you who don't know us, you're hanging out with the Righteous Rebels, Jennifer Saunders and Leah Montani. Um, we've been doing the series called Presence with Watercolor, and they're just short little blips where we just pull out the paint and I, Leah shares some sort of magic and I play along in it. <laughs> and um, really for me, it's about, it's about letting go of, you know, the little pieces of perfectionism that, that hang on when it comes to this kind of stuff. And uh, just really stepping into um, a, a medium that is relaxing for lots of people and, and stepping into the creativity that has been wanting to come out that I haven't allowed myself to do. And uh, just an opportunity to pop on and be real with you and to share these moments of like, we're all practicing together. We're all, we're all going to make the mistakes together and to really just make that an, a more normal thing and let it be okay. So with that today we have, I have short time, so I'm just going to turn the time over to Leah and let's get started. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as we're before we got on, I was thinking of a page in our in our journal about oh, love the, the journal. journal. Yeah, we put this journal together just before a, uh, a retreat we had planned in February, and um, it's it's unpacking the mountains that we were meant to climb, not to carry them. So. Um, but one page that I really love is the gratitude page and just because to me, gratitude, like it's a ray of sunshine. It's, it, it, it comes from you. It's you radiate gratitude. So radiate, I, radiate. Yeah. Well, and so I love they, those pages cause you can color them. Yes. Color them, fill them in, make them yours. And, and they're just super fun. So, um, it just made me think of what, what am I grateful for today? What, what am I going to start my day in and how am I, I think that practice is always really fun because you start looking, actively looking for other things to be grateful for. So, um, so as today, we're going along, we'll talk about things that we're grateful for. I Sorry. love it. So just as we were coming on, just before the countdown, Leah said, ask me what I was grateful for. I was like, uh, but really I'm grateful for like the yummy, like cinemate drink that I choose to drink every morning and, and for the opportunity to like be on here and just like start my day with this practice that still makes me feel uncomfortable, but also at the same time in that, in that I feel alive because I'm sitting with the discomfort and then knowing that I get to go hang with a client and then I get to go cross country ski and all of those things are super grateful for me. Love it. So let's get started and then we'll Ooh. chat a little bit more about that. Um, all you need to join in today is a piece of watercolor paper. If you use regular paper, it's going to be a nasty mess and make holes and you'll be miserable. Um, <laughs> some we water. don't want miserable. No, we, we don't want miser miserable. Mur miserable. <laughs> some, <water. laughs> some watercolor paints, uh, an open heart and open mind and just <laughs> trusting the process. Just really, this whole thing is designed to bring us into the moment and just be present with what we're doing. So, and I hear you asking, Leo, but what are we doing <laughs> today? Yep. Uh, if, if you have um, a more finer brush, like not such a thick brush, or maybe it could be, I'm just making this up. Um, I just feel called to use a more, either a more square brush or a round brush like this. Um, or you could just do it with your big thick brush, like whatever you're called to. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing today uh, is a little bit more defined. So I'm just going to start in with the color. I feel called to green this morning. Oh, I feel and called to. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there's just certain colors that just call your name. See, now I'm freaking um, out about my brush. Okay, letting it go. <laughs> I'm letting it go. It's okay. There's no wrong answers in this. And just the fact that you're showing up and doing your thing is what matters. So um, this is going to be more of a line. We've done a lot of fixed strokes. Yesterday we practiced with brush strokes and I'm just thinking about lines this morning. So I'm just going to start with a circle. You can make any shape you'd like. I feel a circle to start and making shapes, but in line form. So 
I start with a circle, but then I feel like maybe here I'm going to make a triangle with a line. And just to be real in this process and, and explore all of this, I, I literally just made this up as I went, um, yeah. as I showed up. <laughs> okay. So it's just as unnerving for you as it is for me, but trust the process. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what were you going to ask, Jen? I don't even know now. <laughs> oh, that didn't turn out. That's okay. It's, it doesn't always this, have to turn out. I, I'm, I'm having small freak out because the edge of my brush wants to separate and not yeah. stay together. To try, try um, going a little bit lighter, not pushing down so much on the brush. Okay. Um, you can try that. I don't know, I just feel like lines are in order today. Whatever those lines look like. See my brush, if you notice here at the star, it's separating. Yeah, um, okay. And that, that, that's totally okay. You can know if, if it bothers you, you can always fill it in or you can just leave it as the way the brush wanted to express itself today. Um, I always... <laughs> It's funny saying that because sometimes when you're in the process, that's what it really feels like. It feels like these brushes and these paints have a mind of their own. You tell them to do this thing and they just decide, nope, we're going to do that thing. And I, I know I've practiced certain techniques where, you know, it's supposed to look this way and then I do it. And it's not like that at all. And it makes quote unquote mistakes. And it's just, it's kind of frustrating until I keep going with it, see what, what I can do with the mistake, quote unquote, to fix it. And then I get happy little surprises as I go. So it's happy just... Happy little surprises. <laughs> yeah, happy little surprises. I'm, I'm noticing like, um, <laughs> I'm noticing like, I'm going to call it rigidity. Like in my, like my hand wants to control the movement instead of like allowing allowing like my wrist to be a part of it or my arm to be a part of it. Wow. That's interesting because you want to control the movement or control what it's going to look like, or what does that mean to you? <laughs> I don't have that answer yet. Okay. Oh my gosh. I, I can say my five-year-old has definitely appeared this morning. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> this is, this is something, this is like, this is punching my buttons a little. That's good. No, That's good. It, rem <laughs> it reminds me of the call last night. Uh, we hosted a zoom call for anyone in the community, the righteous rebel community that wanted to come out and chat and just, you know, we, we were talking about ways that we love ourselves and how we, how do we practice that? How do we show up for ourselves? And I found it really interesting that our conversation went to how it's difficult to ask for help or ask for the things that we need or ask for support. Um, and it, it just led to beautiful conversation. And one of the people who had come out, um, we had asked you know, we had a great conversation and then we had asked, um, we found out that they do, they practice art, they draw, they, they practice flowers and all this stuff. And, and, and they're good at it. Yeah. And so I asked if they'd be comfortable sharing. And I just love the shift that went on in her when, when she started sharing. And then it was like, I did this and I did this. And I, and there was so much pride in, in the share. And I just love seeing how, how she just was so excited to share things that she had created. Um, so I found that super exciting. I did too. Um, and it was, it was fun to, to just watch the light come on. And, yeah. And so like, that's, we haven't mentioned that. Like if you are not a part of the righteous rebels, uh, family, clan, group, tribe, uh, head on over to the righteous rebels on Facebook and hit the join button. We would love to have you, be part of what we're doing, come on and share your magic and, and your creativity. Uh, we do have an art gallery that yeah. 
that will allow you to share easily and let us let us see what you're up to let us celebrate you and <laughs> if you feel like your five-year-old's coming out and your artwork looks like that awesome <laughs> we'll celebrate yeah. it with you that's right and I, I love this morning, I um, just before we popped on here, I noticed that she had posted, um, not in the art gallery, but on the Zoom call post, um, some stuff that she had colored after the call. Like, And, and I just thought that was super sweet. Um, oh, that's awesome. I haven't yeah, seen that. That she, she was open to sharing and that, you know, after that Zoom call, she took some time to care for herself and, and just engage in coloring and having fun with that. Um, it's incredibly relaxing and just gives you time to just be with you and, and be present. I mean, that's the whole thing of, of doing these, um, painting with watercolor. Okay. okay. What if it's not incredibly relaxing? <laughs> um, for the person out there, just asking for a friend. Um, <laughs> go ahead. What if you want it to be incredibly relaxing and it doesn't quite like feel that yet? Um, I would ask what's, what's going through your mind. That's um, keeping you. What, what's the thing that you're, what's the story you're telling yourself that is keeping you from letting go and giving into that process. Okay. I will make sure to pass that on. <laughs> um, I guess what, what comes up for me is, are you, are you paying attention? You know, are you Maybe worried about what it's going to look like? Or are you noticing how the paint stretches across the page? Are you noticing how in some places where you press down more, um, it goes wider and it goes lighter? Are you noticing that sometimes you get water on your hands and now your hand feels kind of wet. Are you noticing um, the smoothness of the page or how when you dip into certain colors, how it makes you feel? Are you, you know, it's it's getting into your body and being more aware of what, what you're doing and with no attachment to the result of it. Like, I feel like this has become a mess. If I look at mine, <laughs> that's okay. I'm letting that be okay. The parts of me are like, you're not a real teacher. You're not this are, are like kind of loud right now, but I'm like, you know what? That's okay. I'm going to show up anyways. And I, it's going to be okay. I know the things that I can do. And this isn't a reflection of that. This is just, it's not a reflection of me. It's just a reflection of me playing and being present and allowing this process to be what it's going to be. And I think, I think that's the, that's the beautiful piece right there is that it's not, and where I, and where I may struggle a little bit still is that it's not a reflection of me. It's not, it's not who I am. It's not what, it's none of that. It's just something I'm doing, something I'm, yeah. I'm playing with. And um, so I actually, I appreciate you bringing that up because I'm sure someone else watching this may feel similar things that it, it means nothing about me. Yeah. It's so interesting Absolutely. because I can, I can feel that way in a lot of other places in my world, but dang, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I, it, it's still a struggle for me. So. I, I wonder if that's like, because we're seeing it and it's, it's something there's so much other things to compare it to. And maybe it's it's partly because we're we're not confident in our own voice in this type of expression yet that um, we attach that kind of judgment to it. That, that could no. be. I, I I love I love the the opportunity to think about that kind of stuff because that's a possibility. Just haven't done it enough to feel comfortable or to really see my own voice in it. Yeah, I think of like writing. Um, when, when I first started writing, I hated the editing process. Um, I felt super self-conscious and because I didn't know, I was still figuring out what my voice is and what, you know, is, is it still that learning phase of I'm copying other voices just to learn style and play around with, with different, different ways of writing that what, what voice is mine? Does that, is that really what I mean? Is that, how I want to express myself? Is that how I want to come across? I don't know. Those kind of questions come up. 
I like it. I like it. So my question to you, going back to the beginning of our our watercolor, is what are you grateful for today? That's as you're going through your day, what what can you be grateful for? Uh, for myself, we're on spring break here in Canada, and I'm Wait, grateful. You're in Canada. I am in Canada. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I can't even say all of Canada is in, in on March break right now because Quebec had theirs two weeks ago. So. Um, in Ontario, in my neck of the woods, we're on March break or spring break or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to hang out with my boys um, after this. And we're going to go adventuring out into the forest and um, see if we can find that goat that went missing. In the <laughs> <summer>. <laughs> Legit, we had a goat that was like, he was a ram and was, yeah. He was a sheep. He wasn't a goat. Sorry. He was a ram. And he was hanging out in our yard. <laughs> and we were trying all sorts of ways to get his attention and bring him to his owner. And um, I remember at one point we were we were making sounds like a goat. <laughs> to <try and> <laughs> that, that was and then, interesting. But honestly, it, it was because and it's OK because I don't have neighbors, so it's fine. <laughs> But literally, the goat was heading back towards the forest, and then we'd make our sounds, and it would stop, look at us, and like be like, "What?" <laughs> so we always laugh about that one. But that's um, that's the whole message today. What can you be grateful for uh, in your process, in your in your everyday? And thank you for showing up. I've filled my page. So how's yours going, Jen? um well it's it's coming hold on let me let me just finish this little blippy right here and i'll show you um oh go ahead yeah i yeah i was like oh i just made a mistake and then i decided not, to not call it a mistake okay hold on it's coming it's coming i went kind of rogue with mine i was gonna do all one shape and then i was like i wonder what it'll look like with a whole bunch of different oh shapes. my gosh i know <laughs> Let's just go along the line. Not what, look at yours. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like how you did crisscrossies there. And my, my five-year-old self is happy. I'm just going to say that. There you go. There you go. So let's bring out the five-year-old and just practice some lines just because and just have fun with it and let it be okay. Well, and you, you said something today that really... Woo. It like touched it touched a place today that has made me think like ooh am i paying attention to the outcome or am i paying attention to watching the process happen and how the paint like like what a five-year-old would do watching how the paint falls on the page and comes off the brush wow i did not expect this to happen and so i appreciate you bringing that up and Just, just for the opportunity to self-reflect in that. Dang, you're gonna have to take us out. Everyone, yeah. thank you for joining us. Thank you yeah. for the just letting us be real because that's part of what we do. That's part of why I have chosen to do this is to touch those places that just still want to feel crunchy, that that want to open up. So something, something is opening. <laughs> yes, definitely, and that's what I love about creativity. It, it brings the insides of us and brings them out into the world so we can see them and feel them and, and touch them and experience them in new ways. So thank you so much for joining us today. We'll be back again tomorrow. Um, the road, the times are kind of rogue as our schedules are <laughs> all over the place, but you can always right. catch the, time, the time differences. Yeah. And, and just schedules and life and all the things, but there's always the replays and uh, we invite you to share your creations, whether in the Facebook group, on the art page or in the comments even and if you have questions just drop them there too we're happy to answer them so with that be bold be, bold. <laughs> be brave be, brave. <laughs> be a rebel be a rebel <laughs> be a rebel have an amazing tuesday we'll see you tomorrow
Dun, dun, dun. dun, dun.